For a new hotel in downtown Dayton adjacent to the convention center is moving along the Montgomery County Convention Facilities Authority presenting a proposal to the Dayton City Commission this week. Generally Bork live from that proposed location tonight. Can you explain what the City Commission has to do with this next step now? Sure, Adam. So the city of Dayton owns this land. So instead of trying to buy it, the Montgomery County Convention Facilities Authority is asking the city to give it access to use this land for this project. And that's usually done through a ground lease structure. This is one more project to help revamp downtown. This is all part of, you know, this wonderful renaissance that's taking place. The Vision, a brand new hotel with more than 200 rooms that's around 14 stories on this simple strip of land in downtown Dayton. The purpose, to bring more convention business to the city that can boost the region's overall economy. The current problem, the lack of hotel rooms in walkable distance to the convention center. If you can imagine, you know, if you're a regional meeting planner, um, it's very important in the, in the groups that we're already talking to. They're coming, but we have to have a headquarter hotel and it has to be a national brand. The convention center is undergoing a major remodel expected to be completed by this time next year. Bookings are coming in, but studies show 500 guaranteed rooms are needed within three blocks of the convention center to support bigger business. Our teams are booking business out until 2030 and beyond. So um, yeah, that calendar, that booking calendar is going to get tight. The hotel at the Dayton Arcade and the Hotel Ardent will provide some, but more are needed. A boost in convention business means a boost in business for the whole region, according to both executives I spoke to. They need guest rooms. They need places to eat. They need retail. All of that helps to create future business that will really um, continue to add to all the great things that are going on. The goal is to have public and private funding, but Plagman says none of this would be possible without community support. Thanking the community for their support, their unwavering support of the convention center in downtown and the region. You know, it's really about uh, keeping our business in Ohio. As for funding, the MCCFA is investing $1.5 million. The Montgomery County commissioners are then going to vote to see if they're going to commit $1.5 million. And the Dayton Commission will also do the same thing. They will vote to commit another $1.5 million to this project. Plegman saying if all of that funding comes through, that will be incentive for private investors to get on board. Back to you.